Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 12, uh, coming at you. I'm basically going over today uh, capturing uh, within MDT 2012. So, uh, the environment is set up this way. I have my domain controller already set up. Uh, I have my MDT server running WDS, and I have my BJ Test uh, machine, which is a plain Jane Windows 7 machine which I actually used on the last episode using WDS, I pixie boot the virtual machine and I actually got uh, Windows 7 installed using MDT and WDS. Okay, so first thing that you wanna do, I created a folder within task sequences, call it capture OS. Within that, uh, I created a new task sequence. I gave it a new ID, I gave it a name, whatever you want guys. And within the select the template, you want to sift prep and capture. You want to choose the OS that you want. Specify the product key if you want. Uh, set all these settings. Give it an admin password. It gives you a summary. Hit next, finish, and then once you're done, you should have something like this. Okay, that would be your captured only, capture and sift prep. Okay, so if you look at the task sequence of it, it's a little different to what you would normally see when you're doing a basic task sequence. Okay, once you do that, you wanna right click on your deployment share, update deployment share, hit next, hit next, and you finish. Okay, now a golden image is an image that has Windows 7 already installed, has all the latest updates, all the security updates, has all the programs that you want fully updated, already installed, already configured. Um, you modify the, the, the wallpaper on the desktop, you modify the taskbar, you modify everything that you can modify on this machine and you want to capture it. You want to create an image of it. So when the next day or the next month you receive a laptop or desktop and you want to you want to do the same thing that you did on this machine you know configure the la configure the desktop configure the taskbar install all the latest and greatest application and updates you want to push that image to that machine and then that's it you're good to go okay there's pros and cons doing this but if you're the kind of person that don't really care about updating software and applications and updates this is the way to go um, I really don't approve doing it this way. I'd rather just do it the way MDT was supposed to be be used. Uh, you create a task sequence. You, you pick the, the task sequence that you want. Uh, it reformats the hard drive for you automatically. Installs Windows 7. Install all the applications with for you. Push out all the Windows updates. And boom. You're good to go. That's the way um, MDT 2012, in my opinion, should be used. So, um, I'm over here installing Adobe Reader. Uh, I have Flash Player downloading. And I was about to get Chrome installed as well. No, I don't want to set it. Accept. And let it do its thing. So, right now I'm installing uh, Firefox, Chrome, Adobe Reader. I'm installing everything that I want this so-called golden image uh, to have.
This looks like a good thing. Now, if you go to the task sequence. Oh, there it go, guys. There it goes. It looks pretty good. I'm excited. Always, always got to get exa ex excited and have a happy smile when something is actually working for you. So right now, I've done this, it's done this, it's done this, it's done this, and now it's doing this. Okay, so that's the part where it's at right now. And if I look into the root of it, uh, let's go back for like one kilobyte. And it's capturing the progress, which is pretty awesome. Again, depending how big is it, it's going to take a while. Uh, I'm just gonna let this ride and uh, see what happens. Most likely, this guy is gonna get bigger. But uh, it looks like it's working. All right, guys, we're back, and it's 100% capturing progress. It took a while, but it looks like it's almost done, and it's done. Wow, how exciting is that? No, no details, no errors, no warning. We're going to hit the finish button and see what else happens. Uh, let's go back into our MDT server. And there goes our golden image wind file. That's the name that we provided it during the deployment time. And what I'm going to do with you guys, once you hit the finish, it's going to reboot itself back into uh, the operating system. Okay, so why it does that, we're going to go into our MDT server and we're going to add that our new custom image uh, create a folder called captured images there you go and I'm gonna import that win file so the source file it's on the deployment captures whim. Move the file to deployment machine instead of copying it. We're just gonna copy it. Uh, set up and sift files are not needed. Uh, we do that. Destination, uh, keep it the same. Summary, yep, next. It's copying over that WIM image to the deployment. Let's go back into the test. Set up and installing the devices. Again, because we did system preparation on the BJ test, it's, this is why we're getting this. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, um, once, this, once this virtual machine loads up, boots up, I'm going to destroy it, wipe it clean out of my uh, machine and create a new virtual machine and once I create the new virtual machine I'm gonna use the win file that we just created to image the new plain virtual machine with our custom golden image win file so let's go back into our MDT server to the process of that it's still doing its thing OK, 
Okay, still going. Again, it's because it's importing a huge WIM file. It's about three gigs big. Uh, the whole machine is still installing devices. Again, because it did, um, we did a system preparation and then we captured it. It did a system factory default, so that's why it's still doing the setup is installing devices. The size of my hard drive. Uh, this virtual machine is real small. The hard drive size is like tremendously small. Look, it's already 30 gigs. I'm already have 10 gigs left. 100% uh, set up is applying system settings. So, okay, so once the win file is um, inside your MDT, you have to create a, a separate task sequence for it, for this to work. And we will do that as soon as this baby gets to 100%. Go back to BJ test, it's still doing its thing. I don't know why I'm waiting for this, to be honest with you. Um, I just wanna see what really happens. But in reality, I could just basically shut it down and just remove it and delete it from my hard drive, which I'm actually going to do. I'm actually going to get myself ready for that procedure. Minimize that. This is almost done. Awesome. So it is there. Beautiful. Double click on it, see the settings for it. Very good, very good. Close that. And what we want to do is let's create a new folder. Capture capture images again. Hit next. Awesome. Finish. Let's create a new task sequence. 0003 uh, let's call this golden golden image uh, TS TS is for task sequence TS is equal for task sequence abbreviation is key hit next standard client task sequence yes it's going to want you to select an OS. If everything goes well, our capture image OS should be there. Beautiful. That's what we want. Hit next. Don't want to specify that. Uh, provide all this information. News. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, BJ Tech News. WordPress, this is my, my blog. Go check it out. Uh, give it an admin. Okay, summary, hit next. Boom. Task sequences are pretty, pretty straightforward. It's not really something that would drive people crazy. So, all right, we're good. Next thing that you want to do is you want to update the deployment share and let let it do that stuff. Looks like we're we're good. Let's check this out. So this is how it's gonna look when we install the stuff. So when we actually deploy the WIM image, this is how it's gonna look. Okay, you could customize it even more. But this is what you're gonna get. This is factory mode. So what I'm gonna do is gonna power this guy off. All right, bring my side panel up. I'm gonna remove it. Yes. I'm gonna go inside my folder. Control A, Shift, Delete. Permanently delete them from the computer. I'm gonna go to File, go to New, Next. 
no operating system, Microsoft Windows. It's pointed back to that same location what I had these guys at. Okay. And DJ test, same name, hit next. One of them give it 15 gigs. Okay, finish. There we go. It's power. Make sure your mouse is within it. Press F12. Make sure your mouse is inside the thing. F12. Pick the deployment. I'm going to do 86. <laughs> up here let me close these notes up okay we're gonna run the deployment give it the credentials again the only reason that I'm giving credentials here is because I have not configured my INI file or my um, what should I call it? My rules to have that information. So I have to manually type all that stuff in, which is no problem. And there it goes. That's the one I want. Capture images. Hit to next. Mm -hmm. Again, you could automate this as well inside the rules location, but I don't want to do that. Hit next. No. Changes to Eastern Time because I'm at the Eastern Time, New York, New York. Hit next. Sure. I don't need Skype. Don't really need Skype because again, the golden image already has Skype. Uh, hit next. Capture image, no need to capture it because I it's, it's captured up the capture and hit begin. And uh, let MDT do its thing and hopefully it should work. Right now it's formatting and partitioning the disk. Uh, on the task sequence, I already have one partition of C, so most likely you could, in a task sequence, you could split it up into a C and D. And we're back. Uh, expanding Windows files are done. Installing features are done. It's installing updates. And it's completing the installation. It's about to restart, which is a good thing. Rebooting, starting Windows. Where will this lead us? I do not know. Okay, so it's rebooting. Hopefully the installation is completed and it can start setting itself up and we sh could be able to log in and you guys can see all the goodies that we installed from our golden image. Okay, good, good. So setup is preparing your computer for the first use. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed when uh, when the Windom image was done and I was importing everything, I left the BJ test computer run and this all this stuff was happening. And then I deleted it, I wiped clean and I rebuilt another virtual machine and I pixie booted and I picked the captured image. And this all this stuff is happening again. So everything looks it looks pretty good. I'm crossing my fingers that everything would will work. So right now it's just a waiting game.
There you go. Preparing your desktop. Okay. So I, okay, so I kind of find it strange when I did the capture. I know I did the I know I did this stuff here. I know I installed Chrome, Firefox, I know Adobe Reader, but I know I installed Chrome and all that stuff, but I'm it's kind of weird that none of that none of the settings stuck. That's kind of strange, but you guys do understand the basics of it. Um, if you guys ever got to this point that you actually configured the desktop the way that you wanted it, and then you sys pref it with using MDT 2012, and it and you use the WIM image and it doesn't look the way you left it, hey, you know, send me an email, go to my blog, shoot me a comment, say, hey, I've dealt with this in the past. Uh, this is what is really happening I gotta do a little research on this because this is this is this is mind-boggling I don't know what's going on I know you guys saw it I changed the background I changed the theme I, I changed the taskbar I even created a shortcut I don't know what's going on so it's strange I'm, a, I'm doing a reboot on it to see what's actually going what's going on with it uh, probably a reboot for fix it I don't know so let me log in But who knows? <clears throat> nope. I tell you this much, uh, Mozilla and Adobe Reader did stick, which is cool. But the other settings like Chrome, uh, Skype installed, but as you can see, Skype did not start up. Actually, Skype actually um became prepackaged meaning that you had when once you double click on it it has to finish installing so sif prep did a lot of crazy things to it i wonder if you could customize the sif prep on it i do a little bit more research on it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video got a basic understanding of how to do the sif prep and capturing how to create the task sequence within mdt as well as get a machine customizer with all that stuff uh, I gotta do a little bit more research on this part. Why the the other settings that I did did not stick. Uh, if you guys have seen this before happen, you know, hook me up, email me, uh, go to my blog bjtechnews.wordpress.com or go to my uh, BJ Tech News YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe to that. Comment on this video and basically give me a rundown if you experienced this problem. I would like to know what's going on. If if anyone have um, got this resolved, hey, less less uh, research that I have to do, and it's something I could write up in a blog, a future blog, and let everyone know what the solution is. Well, I appreciate everyone uh, viewing the video. This is BJ Tech News. Uh, I see you on the next episode, and everyone have a good one. Thanks.